So as a software engineer, why would this video and trading companies be relevant to you? What type of software will you be actually writing at these trading companies? In what type of programming languages you would use at a trading company? What's up legends? In today's video, I'll be giving you an overview of software engineering for trading companies. So some trading companies you may have heard of are Jane Street, Citadel, IMC Trading, Optiver, Five Rings Capital. In this video, I'll tell you what a trading company actually is. Is a trading company right for you as a software engineer? And what type of software are you going to be writing at a trading company? So as a software engineer, why would this video and trading companies be relevant to you? Well, I'll give you three reasons. The first reason is that you really like making money. These companies pay a ton of money. The second reason is you love computer science. These companies really offer a lot in terms of you being able as a software engineer to apply real computer science fundamentals to solve real world problems. Things like compilers, operating systems, networking, memory model, latency, efficiency, all that type of stuff, you will be able to apply these companies. I'll give you a link to Jane Street's engineering blog to give you an example. And the third reason is you like ownership. You like responsibility. These companies, especially smaller trading companies, will give you a lot to do and a lot of work to do, a lot of work to own. Compared to big tech, you will get a lot more ownership. Trust me on that. Okay, and I'll also give you two reasons why this video may not be relevant to you as a software engineer. The first reason is these companies traditionally have a very bad work-life balance. So although they pay a lot of money, if you do the dollars per hour, you might be well off or better off working at a big tech company. And the second reason is the interviews are traditionally very hard and they may take a lot of your time and effort and energy. So you may not want to go through all of that. So I actually should mention that I, as a software engineer, have got many offers and have done a lot of interviews with trading companies myself. And I will be telling you what you need to know about trading companies to get past these interviews. You really don't need to know much. You don't need to be a finance guru. You're a software engineer and these trading companies acknowledge it. So my very superficial knowledge of a trading company is it buys and sells stuff in order to try and make a profit. And that is all, you know, they could be buying and selling Apple or stocks or whatever, you know, it could be anything. But that's just the way I think of it. And that's what got, got me past the interviews personally. I think what, something else that's very important to know is that there's different types of trading companies. The three types that I'm aware of are hedge funds, proprietary trading, and uh, what's the last one? Proprietary trading and market makers. So hedge funds, they take money from external sources, you know, like investors, friends and family, and they trade on behalf of those people. And they don't get to keep all the profits. They return some of the profits back to those investors, but they take some of the, the money, the profit for themselves, like a commission almost. The second is a proprietary trader. So this is a company like Jane Street. A company like Jane Street, a prop trading firm or a prop shop, they call them, trades with their own funds. So they get to keep all the profit and reinvest into their company. The third type of company is a market maker. So companies like IMC Trading and Optiver. I actually have no clue what these guys do, but they, the buzzwords you need to know is that they provide liquidity in a market and make money from that. That's all I know. I don't really understand what that means, but that got me to the final stage of both those companies I mentioned. So that's all you need to know as well. Maybe do a little bit of research yourself more than that. Okay, so this part is probably the most relevant to you as a software engineer, and that is what type of software will you be actually writing at these trading companies? Well, I'll give you a few examples that I'm aware of and came across while interviewing at these companies. The first type of software you can write is support software. So there's traders at these companies that are manually clicking Yes, I want to trade 1,000. I want to buy 1,000 of Apple stock or I want to sell 10,000 of Meta stock. I don't know anything. So you could make software that 
makes their processes better. So you could write them some, I don't know, a viewport into Bloomberg terminal that makes it easier for them to see changes in meta stock. Or you could make it easier for them to trade stocks. You write them whatever software will make their lives easier. That's one part of software you could write at a trading company. Another, another type of software you could write at a trading company is automated trading systems. So I find this really cool. And that basically either completely removes or partially removes that trader that I was describing, that menu clicks, I want to sell or buy this much of this stock. You just have a software that is taking in input from data sources like stock exchanges or news sources, have some type of algorithm analyze that input and automatically make trades. So you could have something as complicated or sophisticated as a machine learning, learning algorithm making those decisions. Or you could have something as simple as saying, if the price is lower than X, buy it. So those are examples of software you would find at these trading companies. But something I haven't mentioned or talked about yet is the need for speed at these trading companies, the need for efficiency. So you can imagine that many trading companies have the same goal in mind to make profit. But how is trading company A going to differentiate itself from trading company B? The answer is speed and also amount of information. So they need to get information as fast as possible from data sources, data sources like the stock exchanges. So that means writing the fastest stock exchange connectivity software. Or another thing is making the trades as fast as possible. So executing the brokerage command, I don't even know what it's called, software in, in the fastest way possible. These are com really key components of a trading company, getting the speed and low latency in some trading companies. In other trading companies, that's not a priority. They might be more longer base trading firms where the trades are happen over the month over the the span of months and you know time doesn't really matter that much so you may be asking what type of programming languages you would use at a trading company well for the parts that i mentioned where latency is super important and speed you can expect to find c++ very very deep level of understanding of c++ and good c++ at these trading companies. However, there are also many different mainstream garbage collected lang languages at these trading companies where the software doesn't need to be crazy fast. Some examples are like UIs, like making a UI for uh, a trader or reconciliation systems, which are basically analyzers for all the trades that happen that day and they do some sort of operations based on what happened in that day these don't have real-time sensitivity and can be written in languages like java python c sharp insert your favorite language javascript i don't know so i hope you guys enjoyed my two cents about trading companies and i really do hope this helped let me know if you have any questions. I really do like this topic and I could talk about it all day. So do ask some questions to me. Hope to see you in the next video.